Haha, <laughs> people, what's going on? B5 here, back at you with a video. It's been a minute. It has been a minute. Um, just got back from vacation with the fam. You know, um, had a great time. Uh, you know, we went to, uh, you know, the magical kingdom. And so, you know, just it was with the kids' first time. I hadn't been in a while. It was kind of nice. You know, had the ability to do it. So we did it. You know, plane flight, you know, just, just doing it like that, hotels, all that stuff, man. It's crazy, man. You know, it, it's kind of crazy. You go on a vacation and you come back, you're like, damn, oh. you know, you feel like you worked, <laughs> you know, because you're doing everything, you know, while you're on vacation. But I wanted to say something real quick. Um, shout out to Apex. Um, he did a video. Um, I'll put the link in the description or whatnot. Um, he did a video about. You know, a PSA announcement, you know what I'm saying, about how, you know, the relationship dynamics between men and women and stuff like that. And I had a chance to, to check it out in between, you know, on my phone, in between, you know, activities. And um, that's a good video. I love when he does those type of videos because, um, you know, it's, it's real stuff, man. And, you know, and that kind of inspired me and made me think that, you know, you know, YouTube and any kind of social media and stuff like that um, you know if you're gonna do this you should do it big like for those of you that are you know that do a lot of videos you know twice three times a week or once a week whatever you know if you're devoting time to, to putting out YouTube then I do think it's important that you know you make it worth your while and what made me think of that was because I was thinking of how much of a good, great time that we had, you know, spending time with the family, just quality time, doing activity on vacation, you know, kind of away from what we normally do and how, you know, we could cherish those moments. And it's like, it made me think about all of the stuff that I spend time on, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, playing games, you know, going to work, uh, you know, watching TV, movies, all this other stuff, social media, all that stuff. You know, that's time away from just quality time with the family. You know what I'm saying? And at least if you're going to do it, you know, do like some of these big commentators and get paid for it. It was kind of a 180 from the way I used to think about it. Um, you know, I used to think, like, you know, just do it because you because you want to do it. And, but you know what? If you're spending that much time doing it like I, like I did, you know, myself, um, you know, I probably should try to make a, you know, make it worth my while. So that's why I don't really make that many videos anymore. Um, well, I, I kind of learned that a long time ago. Um, you know, just holding back on on videos and and whatnot. You know, based off of the time that I had available to make these things. But um, you know, if you're doing it, man, do it big, man. Wish you guys luck and everything like that. But let me go ahead. Let me get on with this review. Uh, on the Star Wars review. Um, oh, 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 I got one more thing. I was watching Hot 97 and I was looking at Malik Yorba. Do you remember him? He was from um, New York, Deep Undercover, uh, New York Undercover, or something like that, back in you know the 90s or whatever. And he's doing a documentary about single fathers, you know, trying to get custody of their kids. And um, I haven't seen it personally, but they were talking about, you know, just the fact that, you know, for men to try to get custody of their kids, like that's, that's crazy, man, because you know what the, how, and how biased the system is against men when it comes to having custody of their kids or sole custody, if that, you know, it's, it's like, kind of like an uphill battle. That's why I can see why a lot of, a lot of guys, you know, just like, kind of just throw their hands up and just you know just move on and, but it's unfortunate for the kids you know what I'm saying it's unfortunate for the kids but you know if you're a guy out there and you know you, you're trying to do the right thing by your by your kids but your your baby mama is not letting it happen man you know you gotta think about the kids man you know you gotta keep fighting you gotta keep fighting you know? but anyway that's enough of that but I wanna let you know these last couple minutes with the video that's really all I need to talk about my impressions of Star Wars. Um, 
I'm going to talk about graphics, gameplay. I'm going to talk about multiplayer versus um, online player. I'm sorry. Online player versus a hybrid player versus a strictly offline player. Now, graphically, the game, if you played the beta, you know the game is solid graphically. I don't think we really have to go too far into it, but I will tell you the Endor map, you know, where the Ewoks were, that world, they did well. The speeder races, whatever those are, they translated it perfectly. Um, I really wasn't excited about getting this game, but after playing this, I'm actually thinking about getting it. Um, I personally didn't want to just because I was I was looking for a single player game, but um, the fact of the matter is there's no single player. It's just a bunch of little missions, um, and I'll get to that in just a second. But but graphically, I, I think the game is good. Gameplay is fun. It's really fun. Just a lot of fun. You know, if you're just trying to have fun, you're just trying to enjoy gaming, stress free. You know, shooting some lasers. You know, this is good. Now, for people that play strictly multiplayer, let me tell you this. Don't worry about it. Just get the game. It's fun. Don't worry. Your video ends now. So go ahead. You know, you can go ahead and log off. Check out another video. Because pretty much that's all it is. Just buy the game. Because you know you're going to have fun. For those of you that kind of split your time between multiplayer and offline your video can end here too as well um, you know especially if you spend more time on multiplayer um, but if you if you kind of lean more towards the offline go ahead and stick around for a few more minutes all right and of course the people that um, you know play strictly offline let's talk for a minute there's no campaign there's a bunch of little missions um, I played a couple of the missions. I personally think they will get stale and dry after, you know, a week. Um, you can only, you know, race the speeder bikes and support the ad ads and X-Wing fighters, you know, all these little cargo drops and all this little, little stuff or whatever, you know, just these random little side missions like you would see on Grand Theft Auto or something like that or any other video game that you play. These are like side missions. They're not even real campaign missions that you would see in a normal you know. That's the way I feel about it. I think but graphically and gameplay wise they play out well. It's just that they don't really make sense you know in the grand scheme and there's no cohesiveness between any of the missions. So you know if you're an offline dude I really think this is going to be a very tough sale um, for you to, to or tough sell to actually buy the game it'd probably be a great rental for you or maybe when the bargain bin or maybe you know black friday is coming but i doubt that they're you know in, in two weeks they're going to lower the price when it just came out you know because it's hot off the press so um but if you're offline I'm, uh, this is a struggle for you to purchase but anyway i'm in the same boat i only got 10 hours to play this game but I think it's cool. I might fool with it. Then again, I might not.